Guys, in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to properly install Eclipse if you are seeing this error message. Fail to create the Java virtual machine. So the reason why you are seeing this is most likely because you just installed the newest version of JDK, which is um, most likely version 14 or 13 or 12, whatever, because um, I did some research online. Some people are having trouble with um, the newest version or version 13, version 12, version 11, or even version 9. Um, well, that's that's just for the Mac user, all right? And uh, um, yeah, so version 8 is the best version and it goes pretty well with Eclipse. And if you are new, uh, I mean, if you are new to Java or new to Eclipse, version A is totally fine. You know, you can practice, you can learn Java, and without any issue, you know, um, version A and version 14, you most likely won't notice any big differences, you know. So, um, yeah. So let's get started. Um, first of all, so here, if you just do your, um, if you just Google like download JDK and you go to their official website and you can actually find um, JDK version eight here. So you can just click the JDK download, but you know, however, if you are using the newest version of Mac OS, which is Catalina or Catalina, whatever you want to call it, um, there is no way to just use the installer you download from um, their official website, which is should be this one. Because um, for Catalina, Apple decided to you know, change their method to assess their um, root file, root files. Um, I mean, the files in your root folder. Um, um, that's for safety purpose, but yeah, Apple just, you know, changed the method. So you cannot use it. Therefore, we are gonna use a application installer called home not home depot homebrew for mac and there it is the website you know the url is brew.sh in order to use homebrew you have to use your terminal um in case you are not familiar with terminal so let me let me just get my bar here. Okay, so you can just go to Launchpad and click Other, and here is your terminal. And or you can just use the search function and terminal and click Return or Enter. So um, your terminal might not be looking exactly like what I have here because my terminal is fully customized. Um, your terminal will be a lot boring, but you know, it's not a big deal. So, all right, so first you wanna check your Java version. Okay, so the, so the version of your Java, you can just type, okay, Java space dash version and hit enter okay now you can see my version is version 14 that's why um you know that's the version causing all the issues for you know running your eclipse so what i'm gonna do is i will first i will first remove the newest version of Java. 
how we can do that. Okay, so we are going to type sudo space rm space dash fr space slash library slash java slash java not be virtual machine slash and once you get this slash here you hit tap okay the tap on your keyboard and you will see your um all all the um jdk version will be listed right here so the amazon so the amazon version jdk is what i'm using for my java project and i just installed the jdk 14 which which is the newest version of jdk so what i will do is type jdk-14 dot jdk and that's it so this is the version i am going to remove so if for example so you also want to remove this you just you know type amazon dash correcto dot uh, i mean dash 11 dot jdk you know you have to remove this one by one all right so i hit enter and now the terminal is asking for my password this password is what you are using for logging into your mac okay so i type your my password and the password is not going to show all right not even starts so you just type it and hit enter there we go and now you can run java space dash version again and hit enter and now you can see i have the version 11 which you saw before you know if you remember i have version um 11 and version 14 right which means i successfully removed my version 14 dot jdk okay so you want to remove all the jdk version you know unless version a if you do have version a if you do not so it's the time we are introducing homebrew so you just you know select all this line here all the command line here and hit copy and go back to your terminal and right here you can just paste it onto your terminal here and you hit enter okay and because i have already have homebrew um this is the very you know popular application installer um based on mac terminal so it's just for mac users and um yeah i mean it's very, very popular and so i'm not gonna install it however if you are gonna install it it takes you like you know several minutes or even more than 10 minutes you know you see you see you know something like jumping right here and you know it's running okay be patient so excuse me once i have homebrew i will go back to my terminal and i will type um, brew brio space dash v enter and now you can see my homebrew version is 2.2.12 um, which should be the newest version because i just updated um, there you go you can see okay so um just in case you are not familiar with that so each time you run homebrew you run brio update first because you want to keep your brio up to date every time okay every time so okay so my brio is already up to date 
and the next step is going to be Brio space tab space adopt open JDK slash open JDK and hit enter because I have already you know installed this too so um, you won't see anything but um, if you are if this is the first time you are using um, you know homebrew and trying to clone OpenJDK from GitHub actually it's on the GitHub so um, you see like something down below here and it will keep running until you see a new line okay just be patient and once you see the new line you will type braille space search space jdk and hit enter and you can see now it's searching all right so it's searching searching so i see a new line here and now you can see adopt open jdk 8 this is the command we're going to use so um in order to install the version 8 we're going to use the command braille space cask space install space adobe open jdk 8 and enter now it's downloading and downloading and installing you know you just leave it there and leave the homebrew to do its magic all right so just be patient 100% I'm not seeing a new line here which means it's still running it's still thinking so you can just go ahead grab a, pot, a cup of water Right. Still patient. <clears throat> Actually, it takes up to several minutes. And yeah, to be honest, I am not a Eclipse user. Actually, I did this for my wife because. Um, she's gonna take her first java course and they're gonna use eclipse so you know i was, I was trying to help her fix this issue all right so i see the new line here and you can see brio okay cheers adopt open jdk8 was successfully installed good so now we can run java space dash version and it's oh it's version 11 because um you know i do have version 11 and it, this version 11 doesn't cause any issue for me but i mean um just in case you know you just want to install version 8 so we can use the um command we just use you can just hit up arrow and find the previous okay command we used okay so I'm gonna delete the version 14 right here and I hit tap I hit tap I hit tap okay so I have adopt version A installed it all right so let's see eclipse is right here and finger crossing yeah there we go come on yeah it's pretty slow
Come on. There we go. So, yeah. That's how you install Eclipse. So, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.